we already know that Excel's forte is mathematical functions. So let's have a look at how we can calculate some fairly common areas and volumes using Excel. Taking our shapes file, you can see here that we have a circular shape and a rectangular shape, both of which have been given a 3D volume so that there is a depth and a depth for the rectangle. So if we want to work out the circumference of a circle, the circumference of the circle is given as pi times the diameter. Now in Excel, we don't have to figure out what pi is. There is a little function. So it's equals pi for pi. So it's a standalone function that calculates the value of pi. And we multiply that by the diameter. So the circumference of our circle is actually 31.41593 inches. Let's format that to two decimal places. The area of a circle is calculated as pi r squared. So that's pi times the radius squared. So we know pi now equals pi multiplied by r squared. Well, firstly, we have to calculate the radius. So let's take the diameter and divide it by two. And then the result of that is sent to the power of two. So squaring it. Now, the reason for the brackets is because of bod maths, which we covered during the introductory level. But effectively, the operator is a higher up the hierarchy list than divide. So without the brackets, it would actually do two to the power of two before it did the E3 divided by, and you would get a different result. So the brackets are vital here. So this is going to take our diameter, divide it by two to get the radius, square that, and then multiply that by pi. So the area of our circle is actually 78.53982. Again, let's just format that to two decimal places. Now the volume of the cylinder is simply the area of the circle multiplied by the depth. So we could take the result of that cell and multiply it by the depth. 392.6991. Now when you're starting to multiply cells together, it could be worth using the product formula which is equals product, open brackets. And that way you can simply define a cell, comma, a second cell, and if required, comma, a third, comma, a fourth. So the product function just multiplies all the components that are passed into it. Close brackets. We're only multiplying the two values and we get exactly the same result because effectively we're doing exactly the same thing. And again, format two decimal places. Now the area of a rectangle is simply the width multiplied by the length. So we can use the product function on the width, comma, the length, close brackets, and we have the area of our rectangle. The volume of the cube is the width times the length times the depth. So again, let's use our product function and send in the three values, the width, comma, the length, comma, the depth. Return and we get 320 as the volume of our cube. All of those functions are functions, the product function and the functions using pi. So any alterations on these values here, so let's go for a much wider circle. And the circumference increases, the area increases, and therefore the volume. Let's increase the depth dramatically, and the volume changes. And the same with our rectangular shape, we'll go a wider width, a wider length that increases both the rectangle and the cube volume, but changing the depth will only affect the cube volume. So that's making use of some of Excel's functions and functionality. Here we've used pi and we've introduced the product formula for multiplying multiple cell values.